Hi there. My name is Jacob Norris and I'm a lead environment artist at NVIDIA. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about getting started with the Unreal Engine and some of the ways you can start setting up scenes for yourself and just getting accustomed to the interface and how to use it. Right now I've got the launcher open, the Epic Games launcher, which you can download from their website and it contains the Unreal Engine inside of it. It starts off on the Unreal Engine tab here, but we're going to go to Library. This is where you'll see all of your installed engine versions, which you can install by clicking this plus sign. After you've installed a version of the engine, you can launch it in the top right corner here, or launch whichever version you're specifically looking for. You'll notice these are my projects that I've already created, as well as some marketplace content that I've purchased from the Unreal Marketplace. In this case, we're going to start a new project. I'm going to do that by launching the 4.22 engine version. And I'll fast forward through these in the video. Now, it's going to show you all the projects you've created in your first window, but let's click this new project tab at the top. I'm going to start off with a blank project, and we're going to choose to start it with starter content, which is going to give us a few props and a few materials to work with off the bat. As you get more advanced, you can opt to start with no starter content, and you can place and import your own. Then you just set, set up the folder that you're going to install your project to, as well as the name. Then click Create Project, and now it will launch the engine. When you create a project with starter content, it's going to place you in this initial map here where you see a couple chairs and a table. This is what's called your viewport, where you can place objects, move around the scene, update your lighting, and a lot more. On the left, you're going to see a lot of the tools you're going to be using when you're inside the engine. Some of them we'll talk a little bit more about later on, such as creating landscapes, foliage, or placing BSP objects. At the bottom here is where you're going to browse all of your content in the Unreal Engine. You can click this little pop-out menu if you'd rather use the folder overview on the left here. I tend to do that as I like to see everything I'm working with. Now, when we want to place a couple things in the scene, since we've already got starter content here, we can really quickly filter through everything that's in our folder by clicking these filters. And I want to place what's called a static mesh. Static meshes are these objects in the scene that don't move and you cannot interact with them. So we're going to check this box and it's going to show us all the static meshes that we have currently in our folders. As you go down between different parent folders it's going to either show you more or less information depending on what's inside each of those folders. So I'm going to go to the very top parent folder here and we can place another chair in the scene if we want. You simply drag and drop it into the scene, and now you've placed it. After you've placed it, you'll notice on the right, this is your details panel. This is where you can find information like the scale of your object, whether it's static, stationary, or movable, which we'll also talk about more later, as well as the actual static mesh here, which you can change it to other assets just by clicking this little drop-down menu and picking the one you want. We can also change our material, which we can talk more about materials later, and a lot of this is going to be more of the advanced features that we'll cover at another point. The other window, the last one here in the top right, is going to be our outliner. This is where you'll see everything that's placed in the screen in one place. You can select whatever you're looking for and focus in on it by pressing F. This allows you to quickly find things within the scene and move to them without having to worry about searching all over the place. It also allows you to delete things and select the properties down here for each of those assets as well. A couple more things we can do is after you've had something placed in the scene, you'll see these arrows pointing up and down. This is called your transform tool. You can move objects around the scene using your transform tool. And we can switch between translation, rotation, and scale with a couple quick hotkeys. You can push W on the keyboard, and this will give you your translation tool. You can push E on the keyboard, and now we've got our rotation tool, and you can push R to scale the objects up and down. You'll notice as I'm moving them around, they're kind of snapping to like a, a sort of grid with specific units. 
you can see all of your snapping up here in the top right. This is your grid for transform. If it's orange, that means it's currently snapping. And here's the units, how many units it's going to snap to as you move it across the screen. I'm going to uncheck this orange checkerboard, and now you'll see as I move the object, it's a very smooth movement left and right, and it's no longer snapping. It's the same for your rotation. It'll snap currently between 10 units. I'm going to uncheck that, and now we can smoothly move this, as well as your scale. It's scaling between 0.25 at the moment, and I'll uncheck this. Another cool feature is once you have objects placed in the scene, you can duplicate them really easily, either by pressing Alt and dragging like this, or pressing Control C and Control, Control V to duplicate them. I tend to use the Alt option, this is a lot quicker. You just hold Alt down and drag it, and now you've got a whole new asset. This is a great way to just get used to the layout, some of the controls, and how to move your way around the engine. After you've created something you're happy with, we want to make sure we save our work. In the top left here, you'll see Save Current. This is going to save whatever's in your viewport as a level. Since this level is already the default starter content level, we're going to need to save this as a new level. If you go to File, Save Current As, you can now set the location. You can create new folders, such as maps, and name it whatever you want. This is going to be chair world. Now we save it, and if we go up to maps here in our browser, and uncheck the filter for static mesh, you'll see chair world. Now you can access your level at any point, and save it whenever you make changes to it. Let's say I add a little lazy Susan on top here for them and maybe delete a couple assets and say, hey, we don't need all these chairs. Now I can click Save All if I would prefer to save everything I've been editing as well as the world that I'm adjusting. This makes sure you don't miss any assets just in case you've edited some of your materials or some of your other static meshes while you're working too. If you just want to save your level, you can always click Save Current. Go ahead and open up Unreal Engine. Try this out for yourself now that you've got a good idea how to move around, create levels, save content, and place assets. Make a little scene for yourself and have some fun. I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.